what we got here is a piece of cherry. Um, I'm gonna corner, corner saw this to use for my kitchen cabinet. I have a video out called No Nonsense Milling. And I see YouTubers all the time go through all kinds of contortions to mill a log. They're jacking up one end and the other and they're flipping it this way and rolling it that way and measuring this and measuring that. It's all nonsense. Um, I got a whole shed full of lumber here. Plus I built three buildings all milling off from the from the mill and I'm not having any problems with warping and checking and any of that. So as far as I'm concerned, you don't need to do all that. It's just a waste of time. Just get it done. Slab it off, get it done. But having said that, I want to quarter saw this. So I'm back to doing all the nonsense and measuring things and turning things and all kinds of stuff like that because you have to do that to quarter saw. And the reason I'm quarter sawing it is because I'm gonna use it for my kitchen cabinets when I build my house. And I want a straighter grain and the most stable wood that I can get for kitchen cabinets and doors and drawers and all that kind of stuff. So I gotta go through all the nonsense that I don't normally do. Um, that's one of the reasons why quarter sawing lumber is so expensive. It takes a lot longer to mill it and you don't end up with anywhere near as wide a lumber out of it. So it's, it's a bigger, way bigger process, and it, so it costs more money. Um, I, I've been working on Cheryl's She Shed, and I pulled off of it today to do this because, I, first of all, I want to get it done, get it drying. And second of all, my grandson has got his fifth birthday party today, fifth year birthday party. So I only have a couple hours. And really, what I have left to do on Cheryl She Shed, you have to, kind of have to excuse the mess. I was working on this until well after dark last night and I didn't get a chance to do much as far as cleanup. But the outside of the shed is uh, pretty much done except for shingling the roof. And I didn't have time enough to go get the shingles and shingle that in a couple hours I have to work today. So, um, I'm going to pull off it for today and, and mill up at least this one log. And uh, then next weekend I'll get back on the shed. Uh, yesterday I put the, I, I sanded the floor. That'll be a video in itself. This is all lumber I milled, every bit of it. Every stick in here is something I milled. Um, so it's just a little preview of what's to come with Cheryl's she shed. And yes, my wife's name really is Cheryl. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna mill this log up. Now I wasn't the last one to use the mill. My son Jesse was. So I don't know what kind of shape the blade is in. I may end up having to change it. But um, we'll see how it goes.
Now the first thing I'm going to do on this log is I'm going to cut it right down the middle. I'm going to roll it and cut it down the middle again so I have four quarters.
wasn't that wasn't a quarter saw on board. I'm just trying to get rid of the pit. Um, so I just slabbed off a piece. of quarter sawn lumber is that as you look at the end of the board the drain is running this way instead of this way um, so now I have to flip this log and cut it again in order to get uh, quarter sawn You're probably wondering why I'm milling such small lumber, but you got to remember with the cabinet, the rails and styles are usually only about two inches. So this this board here is two and a quarter, so I can I can plane this thing up and end up with a two inch rail or style. What it's going to look like. It's got really nice straight grain. That's the whole idea behind uh, quarter sawing. Now, when I go to work this and mill this and make this into a piece of trim, it's going to have a uh, nice straight grain to it to work with. It's a lot less likely to um, warp or split. And that's the whole idea behind quarter saw. Nice straight grain going down the floor. Beautiful stuff. So I'm not going to bore you with milling the rest of this log. Um, it's the same process. And I'll put this other half of the log up, up on there too. Um, and like I said, I'll have plenty, I'll have plenty of wood for my cabinet. Um, and I still have another cherry log up there. Not every piece that comes off is quarter sawn. But, um, you know, mainly for the doors, those are the most important things. You don't want them warping. So... I'll end up with more than enough to do my kitchen out of this one tree. Um, I will also want to build a, a roll top desk. Um, something I've always wanted to do. Um, and
and I'm probably going to use this wood for that too. So I'm milling in a full inch, and by doing so, I can finish both sides, end up with three quarter, no problem. Most of the lumber I mill for my house is seven eighths because I'm making a shiplap out of it, and I don't need the backside plane. So there's no sense in me wasting the extra wood. I can usually get a board or two more out of a log by doing that. And as long as I can plane one side down to three quarters, I'm good, and I can. An eighth of an inch is more than enough to get it back um, nice on one side. So there you have it. And thanks for watching.